Go, my friend. Go, go, go. Now, right click spam. Right click spam. Right click spam. Yep. Yeah, in seven you seconds. Can <laughs> you can buck. Yep, there's a go. Now we have proof. We have indeniable oh, proof yeah, yeah, yeah. that you can buck while swinging. Mm. No, no, no. <laughs> That's a big <laughs> How do you not? How do. Mm. QA testers, please. <laughs> please test this game before you release it. Oh, no. Hello, my name is Turkish Delight, and I'm part of a small training server. You may have seen some of my videos in their response to the QA testers. But I very quickly went over a few things that we found while testing the latest update, 3.5. In that video, I talked about the Stego and how I believe that the Stego is now very, very powerful. The term I'm going to use for it now is crack. Stego is utterly cracked. Balked is bad. If a dinosaur is balked, it's bad. If a dinosaur is cracked, it's very, very good. The thing with the Stego right now is um, that we actually made a mistake in that video. Um, it's not that the Stego is able to cancel bucking by swinging. It is that the bucking continues in the background of the swing. Uh, you'll see in the first clips I have there, a side-by-side -side thing, which is 21 seconds long, the entire pounce will go through. So the swinging of the tail does nothing to the Utah stamina drain. What does, however, is just pure bucking. And as you can see in the second videos, both of them take about 7.5 seconds for the Utah to then dismount. Uh, if it was intentional for the Stego to be able to swing while it's bucking, the Stego is ridiculously powerful. Because if the Stego gets um, pounced, it can use some time to... Um, Maybe even pretend that it's not bucking, which gets another use of the pounce on. And what we're fairly sure will continue to happen is that the Stego will just keep on um, bucking, 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 bucking the entire time. Um, which means it can stop other Utahs from pouncing it while it's being on the defensive. Furthermore, it can wait out a Utah to dismount while it's bucking and then force it to. Um, if the um, Stego starts to buck and then spam clicks its, um, its tail, it can then catch that Utah on the dismount. Which means that for the cost of maybe about 20 to 30 percent of the stego stamina, it can guarantee pretty much a kill on a Utah that pounces it. You have a max pound, you have a max pack of eight Utahs. If one of them dies pretty much every time a Utah um, pounces, or if not dies, is left with barely any stamina, in which case the stego can actually chase down that Utah and then kill it. Um, means that the Utahs are basically put onto the defensive, which they're not good at. That's the issue. They're only good at offense. And that offense means nothing to a Stego. Which definitely means that there's almost no way for a Utah to actually kill a Stego. Um, if, a, if the Utah has the time to, it can um, dodge the tail swings of a Stego. But it needs to wait for one tail swing to go through first. Which means if the Stego is um, uh, bucking while tail swinging, it almost forces the Utah to have to stay for that first swing. Which means the Utah's going to be left with barely any stamina. And you may be thinking, okay, why? Why don't I just pounce the Stego first, which is perfectly reasonable, and then dismount straight away? Well, the reason is, is that um, you don't do any bleed, basically. Um, the amount of bleed damage you do to the Stego is minuscule. You'll do no damage. You'll never kill it that way. The Stego will actually actively outheal your bleed damage if you just latch on and then latch off. Furthermore, the Stego could just get used to it. You know, the Stego player is still a player at the end of the day. If someone does repeated action, you can very quickly adapt to that, and Stego probably will. Um, but the best bet for Utah is to ride out the beginning of the buck and to ride out the first tail swing. Therefore, when the first tail swing ends, you then dismount. Because you can, when the tail swing reaches its maximum distance, you dismount and then get off and run. Uh, this should then leave you with about 30% stamina, which should be enough for you to run away, sit down, regain your stamp. Um, if all of your teammates do this, you can slowly whistle down the Stego. However, due to things like latency, this could be still incredibly risky. Um, because of this, you won't be dealing the full 7 seconds of bleed damage towards the Stego. But you may be sitting there and wondering why it's so important that you get the 7 seconds of pounce into the Stego. Well, the reason why is that in order to fully bleed out the Stego, assuming that you pounce it every single time that its bleed runs out, which takes about 1 minute 30, it will take approximately 13 full pounces of 7.5 seconds in order for that Stego to bleed out to death. This means that per second of pounce, you are dealing 1.02% of the Stego's bleed total. This means that in a 7.5 seven second, seven, seven second pounce, you are dealing 7.65% of the total Stego's bleed. However, say for example, that you obviously don't want to take the suicide approach of dying in order to deal about 7.5% damage towards the Stego. Well, you go for half of that. 
and you may end up with about a 7 seconds um, pounce, which will be dealing around 3.8% of the Stegos bleed. However, as I'll be showing you in a clip right about now, this is what happens in the first 7 seconds. As you can see, it's about, it's about the right amount of time to begin the buck and then do a swing, which means if you dismount at this moment, you die, which means you are forced, as I said earlier on in the video, to stay on for longer, which drains more of your stamina, which means the stego, in theory, can chain lock you onto itself during a pounce, if it plays it well, and you're very, very cautious, which means you have to just accept and embrace the fact that you could die every single time that you play stego. The stego will be looking, the first thing a stego is going to do, it begins the buck, it then swings, just to see if you fall off. If you stay on there, it can just swing again, and it can keep swinging. The room for error for a Utah when dismounting a Stego is absolutely monumental. You know, like yes, if it if it dismounts off the Stego, the Stego can't catch it because you know it dismounts just far enough. And um, but as I've shown, that's neg negligible towards the amount of pressure it takes to even dismount in the first place. Um, you know, we we're talking about twenty six pounces. Of about four seconds to fully you know drain a stego's um, bleed and that's absolutely ridiculous if you're wondering how long that's going to take that's going to take about 40 minutes to do that assuming that you get one pounce every minute and a half you know that's ridiculous at that point you know and if you go for more pounces you leave more room to you know um make mistakes you know it takes a couple of minutes for the it takes you know maybe a minute or so to get the utah stamina to fall you know if you're constantly going in for pounces and losing half of your stamina you then have to spend that next 30 seconds then heal up but you know it's a very very tr tricky balancing act as we've described it so far it seems to be a war of attrition to basically get a stego down to zero percent bleed um and it may even cost a few of your, of your friends lives uh, but say for example you actually kill the stego which i still think is doable but say for example you do kill the, the stego well then what's your plan for when a group of carno shows up to contest that body What's your plan when a group of Utah shows up, to, shows up to contest that body? What's your plan when two Dinosuchuses roll up onto the banks and then take that body off of you? You know? And say, for example, that you half the amount of time that it takes to kill a, a Stego. You go ultra uh, aggressive. You know, you get two pounces every minute and a half. You know, each pounce, you know, maybe even more. So you, so you half the time, you quarter the, the time. Instead of taking 24 minutes, it takes you, you know, 11. Maybe it takes you seven minutes to kill a, um, a Stego. In seven minutes, if that Stego won called at random points during that fight, it would not take that long for a group of Tenos to roll up onto where you are and defend that Stego. It would not take that much long soon after for another, for another two Stegos to show up to protect that one Stego, right? Like, when facing against a solo Stego, it will not be solo, right? There will always be other herds in the vicinity to be able to, be able to help it out. And how are you going to take them on? You know, it's a very difficult balancing at, at the moment so and part of it is due to the fact of the way the devs want to balance the game the devs want it to be an ecosystem yeah a living breathing ecosystem which means one thing kills another thing and that thing dies to something else which therefore means that what's going to kill a stego is more than likely going to be apexes and as we've seen with dinosuchus are uh, we doing another video covering them as well uh the dinosuchus needs to play perfectly you know, it has to it has to it has to optimally get that lunge in to stun the, the stego and then alt bite bite alt bite bite. You know, at perfect timings, moving itself left to right to make sure that its hitbox stays within the stego. A, a stego can make a mistake at any point during this and still come up, come out on top, assuming that the dinosuchus doesn't know what it's doing. Furthermore, the stego doesn't even need to run into the dinosuchus. You know, it can go drink elsewhere, which means the one thing that can kill a stego doesn't even have the opportunity to kill it. Right? Which therefore means that in this ecosystem, we're going to have to wait until we have apexes like Rex, Giga, Spino, whatever, in order to kill Stegos. You know? And that's just, it just baffled my mind. You know? Because that's the ecosystem it is. And I do perfectly agree. I don't want Stegos being killed by any Utah who picks up Utah or any Kano, you know? But I do want it to at least take a level of skill to at least take them down. And we're going to have to keep doing more testing to, to see if we can brute force our way for a war of attrition to kill a Stego. But just from judging from the numbers and the risk taken, it's not in the Utah's favour at all. You know, it's like, it isn't even worth hunting a Stego in the, the first place with um, Utah's. And this isn't even taking into consideration the strongest thing that a Stego can do. The strongest thing that a Stego can do is hug a tree or a bush. And then what are you going to do? It doesn't matter how aggressive you play at that point. It does not matter. The Stego will not die. 
You know, you can just retreat into a um, a bush and then just heal up. And you can't get in there because you don't know which way it's facing. You don't know when it's going to attack from. You don't know if it's going to burst out the trees and swing you. You know, you've lost that information. And that's very, very crucial and damning towards carnivore players, effectively. It means that you're the biggest source of food in the game that could su sustain a pack is almost nigh unkillable. You know? And, you know, that's when it's solo. You know, if you have... I think the group goes up to six at the moment, which is stupid. I think it should be two. But I'll be covering that in a, in a different video. Um, you know, what are you going to do about that? There's nothing that, that you can do. It's um, preposterous to even try, in fact. Um, to lighten up the moves, there'll be some, you know, some little silly outtakes that we had while in the training server where we, you know, weren't being as professional as we would have liked. Give that chomp. And that right click. How many fucking seconds did you think that was, Agla? 7.5. <laughs> that was 7 seconds. <laughs> I think I think the puck carries up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just do it again. Thank you, Agla. Yeah, cool. So I'll just bounce you whenever. That was not good for me. That's not good at all. I don't know what you were, I don't know what you were doing there. That was just like... That was just... That was just like... I punched you and went into panic mode. You're drinking! Going in. See, see. That's like... There you go. That's new, like, Utah attack. You have to predict when the Stego player is about to, like, drink some coffee and then bounce them. Easy kill. Like this? Yeah, like that. Just, yeah. Constantly, 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 constantly. Big dive on here. I'm going to bounce again. <laughs> 10 out of 10. Perfect game. That, you have to keep that out. <laughs> 10 out of 10. 10, 10, 10 out of 10. <laughs> I'm going to... Okay, we'll, we'll... I'm kind of amazed he doesn't hit you there, because... I'm literally timing it for the second that he goes, like, home, and then it has that silence, and I'm like, timing it then. So, like, like... You dismount at an angle, because he's... he's... Tail, tail swiping. Tail swiping. So instead of jumping straight this way, off him, you, you jump sideways. Right? Yeah. yeah, it was. Let's um. That way he can't hit you. Let's so let's try that. that. Let's uh, try that again. Let's see. Yeah, I'm actually yeah. I'm actually gonna start jumping when I pounce things, just because pouncing on a hill is just so annoying. Don't swing. Don't swing. <laughs> Whatever you do, please. I'm begging you. <laughs> I, don't, I think you must. I, I'm actually gonna see that as well. If if I just if I just run at you... Yeah, okay, cool. Hey. Oh, I, I was just gonna swing... You idiot. You idiot. You idiot. <laughs> I, I did... I did... Uh, that's on my, like... Uh, Actually, um, swing your tail quickly. Yep. And do the other swing. That's weird. If I just let go of right click, that's why I landed. So if I... Mm. But you're downhill now, right? Oh, I am downhill. You're right. Yeah, I am downhill. Okay, so at elevation... Down here? Yeah. Like this. Hmm. Sw 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 swing again? Swing again. This is... Okay, there you go. First one went over my head. That was... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's really weird. The hitbox is a bit more when the back, that back swing there. Yeah, yeah, Um. Perfect. Oh, Perfect. <laughs> mm. Perfect. Perfect. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> I said I'll teleport you in just a sec. Yeah. I teleport you, and all I hear, all I hear is just, <laughs> all I hear is the stego sound. Just, <laughs> I swear, I swear to God, I swear to God, I can't stop it, stop it, stop. <laughs> so, excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I just slid off your butt. Yeah, yeah. Just um, start spam it. The other direction towards me. Yeah, 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 Thank yeah. you. What the fuck went with my cam? Wait, wait, wait. Give me. I don't know what the fuck happened. <laughs> your camera off. Sorry, sorry. I don't play Sega that much. It's like, hello, my name is Tiger Delight. I come from like a really like high tier training server. We're all professionals here. <laughs> Meanwhile, <laughs> dude can't turn it. <laughs> dude can't 
delete all this footage. Yeah, yeah. Get rid of it now. It's like so sun exposed and like 1080p. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Test it quickly. See if you can spat them in one direction. The stars is going. There's one. Okay, there you go. Yeah, <laughs> you can do that. That's fine. One second. Two seconds. Three seconds. Oh, yeah, no, I'm yeah. That's, I mean, that's really nice, yeah, yeah. You do that as a stego, You'll eventually turn towards the hill. This swing you see here, that's one like, that is backward. It's not on the, directly on the side hip hop. You have to do that, that swing, like there. Uh, show me in a second. Yeah. 